The Excel volumetric calculator contains a worksheet on calculating adsorbed gas, which we need to do for shale gas plays. We'll have one PowerPoint slide and then a demonstration on how the Excel calculator works. Organic rich unconventional resource plays, such as shale gas and coal bed methane, contain both free gas and absorbed gas. If we look at this SEM photomicrograph from the Barnett Shale, the gray area represents organic matter. The red represents the gas-filled organic pores. If we zoom in on these pores, we'll see the red dots along the walls of the pores, which represent the absorbed methane gas. Blue represents water. The dots for the absorbed gas are about 10 times the actual size of the methane molecules. Absorbed gas can be a significant methane contributor in the in-place resource. The absorption capacity is a function of the available surface area and the reservoir pressure and temperature. Organic matter is the main absorption site for methane, hence TOC is an important parameter. Other important parameters include the thermal maturity of the rock, porosity, surface area of the pores, pressure, temperature, moisture content, and clay mineralogy. Langmuir isotherm experiments in the laboratory are used to measure the absorption capacity. While a normal volumetric formula is used to assess the free gas in these shale gas plays, a different formula is used for the absorbed gas. Where G sub I is gas in place at initial reservoir conditions, the A is the area of the play in acres, and H sub S is the shale thickness in feet. The Greek letter rho is the bulk density of the shale in grams per cc, and C sub G sub I, the initial sorbed gas concentration, is reported in standard cubic feet per ton, dry ash-free coal or shale. And the 1,359 converts the area, thickness, density, and absorption capacity to standard cubic feet. Absorption capacity is derived from laboratory experiments. As a general rule of thumb, 60 standard cubic feet per ton is a reasonable default value for the absorption capacity. Some studies have shown a relationship between bulk density and adsorption capacity. For example, if we look at the measurements from the Antrim shale, where they show the measured bulk density as a function of the gas content or adsorption capacity. Now let's move on to the volumetric calculator for absorbed gas. This is worksheet number four in the volumetric calculator on absorbed gas. Here is the formula that we saw in the previous slide and the definition of the parameters. In this example, I've used 640 acres. That represents one section or one square mile, which is typical for the IEA and other groups to report the richness of a shale gas per section. The absorption capacity of 60, which is a good default value, 100 feet for thickness and a density of 2.4 grams per cc. The calculator will report out the in-place gas in standard cubic feet, billion cubic feet, and trillion cubic feet. Below here are some notes that I've written up that is important information about shale gas plays and has some references. Here is the chart of the Antrim shale that we saw on the previous slide. And over here on the right is some background information and considerations for calculation from the PetroWiki site. At the bottom of Worksheet 4 on absorbed gas, I've included some conversion factors. Before we look at that, I want to show you this table here, where we can see that most of the laboratory experiments report the absorption capacity in millimoles per gram. But our volumetric calculator wants it in standard cubic feet per ton. So I've taken these values here and 
I've put in the conversion factor for millimoles per gram to standard cubic feet per ton. And so I've just input values here and calculated it out. So that 60 value is close to 0 0.069 millimoles per gram. I've also put in some other uh, convenient calculators in here that will let you look at it at your discretion. One of the conversion factors that was looked at was a relation that demonstrated a relationship between the percent total organic carbon and millimoles per gram. So if you have an idea of, say, you have a 4% TOC, you're probably looking at a rock that has about 58 standard cubic feet per ton. Krosha Havar at ALT 2014 has a very good review of shale gas plays and their shale gas capacity. In an article by Yang et al. 2015, he looked at some of the methane sorption capacities of marine shales in the Sichuan Basin in China. And it shows some interesting relationships. We've already discussed how the Langmuir sorption capacity increases with TOC. And he shows that. He also shows that it changes with maturity. So if we look at this plot here, it doesn't show off too much. But when we exaggerate this part in here, we kind of see that as maturity increases, we create more organic pore space and greater absorption capacity. But as it gets higher, we start to see a breakdown of the pore structure and less absorption capacity. Another chart that Yang et al. represents is a sorption capacity as it varies with pressure gradient. So here we're seeing pressure gradients. And as you have greater pressure gradient, you basically have more absorption capacity. But with depth, it starts to decrease. Here, in this experiment, the pressure gradient was kept constant, but the temperature gradient is increasing. And as you go to depth, you see that these lines are no longer parallel. But you see decreasing absorption capacity with increasing temperature. So in summary, I recommend that you look at the Yang et al. and the Koshaharvar et al. papers and read this section up in here that I've written and also go to the Petro Wiki site and read what they say on the uh, reserves estimation for shale gas.